TV shows such as The Flintstones depict humans and dinosaurs living together in harmony, but that's just fiction, right? Actually, not quite. The dinosaurs the earliest humans lived among were not the huge lumbering lizards we most commonly think of when we see the word. Those had been extinct for almost 66 million years before the first humans began to make their mark. The dinosaurs that commingled with our ancient ancestors were modern birds, the closest natural relatives to the extinct dinosaurs, which means that we live with dinosaurs too. Now the question is, did non-avian big dinosaurs ever live alongside humans? Before digging in, it's probably worth noting that for the same reason, scientists consider humans to be mammals. They also consider birds to be dinosaurs. Birds are currently placed within the dinosaur clade. With this in mind, the answer to our question is yes. Just look around outside and you'll probably spot a dinosaur in less than a minute. That said, here we want to know about the big ones, dinosaurs like T. rex, Triceratops, and Stegosaurus. We even want to know about some of their non-dinosaur comrades, creatures like pterosaurs, and plesiosaurs. In the 1933 film King Kong, an island is found filled with dinosaurs and other magnificent beasts. The movie, of course, was just fiction, but today there are enthusiasts who claim that dinosaurs are either still alive in remote regions of the world or that they recently went extinct and that ancient people once lived alongside them. Could this really be? Well, according to what we know about biology and evolution, it is technically possible. Dinosaurs were the dominant species for nearly 165 million years during a period known as the Mesozoic Era. Growing evidence suggests that many dinosaurs were warm-blooded, bore colorful feathers, and engaged in behaviors similar to those of contemporary birds. Their reign concluded at the end of the Cretaceous period when an asteroid the size of a mountain slammed into Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula with the force of 100 trillion tons of TNT. The impact created a crater 115 miles across and several miles deep and sent tons of rock, dust, and debris into the atmosphere. A darkness descended across the planet that, along with other related catastrophes, wiped out an estimated 80% of life on Earth. Small mammals are known to have lived with dinosaurs during the mammoth beast's final reign. Many of these warm-blooded creatures survived the cataclysm that killed off the dinosaurs and much of other life on Earth at the time and eventually evolved into a wide range of animals. Colacanths and crocodiles, for example, have been around since the time of the dinosaurs and modern forms do still exist. Colacanths were even thought to have died out with the dinosaurs until a living population was recently found. Millions of years later, humans do live together in domestic bliss with dinosaurs. We just call them chickens and parakeets. Life, uh, finds a way. Even though it may be possible, as if now there is no solid scientific evidence that dinosaurs ever lived at the same time as humans, science can be described as the collection and documentation of observable facts and an ongoing discussion about how those facts can be best linked together into explanations. This means that if you want to make a scientific claim, first you need evidence. What kind of evidence would qualify? Well, photos and eyewitness accounts might help get individual researchers interested, but these things are not convincing to the scientific community at large. Photographs are just too easily faked, and eyewitness accounts are often well-meaning but inaccurate. If you really want to be convincing, what you would want to find are things like human and dinosaur bones fossilized in the same rock layer. Better yet, a fresh dinosaur carcass, though please don't kill a dinosaur if you ever find one, <laughs> they're very rare. Best of all, capturing a live specimen. Unfortunately so far, all claims of human and dinosaur fossils alongside each other have either proven to be hoaxes or misinterpretations. The same is true of rotting corpses thought to belong to dinosaurs or plesiosaurs. The same is true of ancient human artwork claimed to be depictions of dinosaurs. So far as we know, with the exception of birds, the only place to find a dinosaur is in the fossil record. So what does the fossil record tell us? As volcanoes form mountains that erode into dust, and as ecosystems grow and then die, layers of sediment slowly build up on the face of the earth eventually becoming sedimentary rock. As a result of this normally slow sediment buildup, different sets of rock layers represent different time periods in Earth's history. The further down you go, the further back in history you travel. Plants and animals that died and were buried in these sediments are sometimes preserved as fossils. Using multiple lines of evidence, chemical composition, radiometric dating, the orientation of magnetic particles, and the presence of certain well-studied fossils, scientists have been able to create geological maps showing which layers of rock in one region or continent correlate with specific layers of rock in other regions or continents. These maps now allow us to look at fossils all around the globe 
and study the history of life in chronological order. In these studies, dinosaurs appear to have evolved from an early group of reptiles called archosaurs. This happened during an ancient time period known as the Triassic. Moving up through the layers, dinosaurs evolved into many forms during the Jurassic and dominated the Earth until the end of a period called the Cretaceous. Many species of primitive mammals also evolved alongside dinosaurs at this time, but no apes and not a single human fossil has ever been confirmed in rock layers nearly as old as the Cretaceous. Throughout the history of life, five major extinction events can be clearly seen in the fossil record. These are time periods where almost all life forms abruptly disappear, leaving only a few surviving groups to evolve and repopulate the planet. One such event is found at the end of the Cretaceous and marks the demise of all non-bird dinosaurs. Changing sea levels and intense volcanic activity seem to have weakened dinosaur populations, leading up to the extinction and then catastrophe. At the top of the Cretaceous is a distinct line known as the KPG boundary. Chemical analysis suggests that one or more massive space rocks struck the Earth at this time, producing a global dust cloud that devastated life on our planet. Recently, the discovery of a 110-mile-wide crater now buried under sediments in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula confirmed this idea and tells us that the comet or asteroid could have been over six miles in diameter. While a few dinosaur populations may have survived a short while after, it was only groups of smaller animals that managed to hang on long enough to repopulate the Earth. Among the mammals that survived, one group eventually gave rise to apes, and finally, in the set of rock layers known as the Pleistocene, fossils representing modern humans can be found. So to sum things up, did dinosaurs ever live alongside humans? While it is hypothetically possible, all the verifiable evidence that we know of tells us that the answer is no. Humans and non-avian dinosaurs never shared planet Earth together. We did not ride them, nor keep them as pets or harness them for domestic labor. The data here is quite solid. The non-avian dinosaurs died out 66 million years ago, likely when an asteroid struck Earth and the ensuing cataclysm wiped out a large percentage of life on the planet. This included almost every large organism and most of the small ones as well. In the aftermath, one relatively humble group was able to carve out a much larger footprint for itself, the mammals. These were the creatures that would one day lead to us, after much evolutionary progress and most of the 60-odd million years separating us from the end Cretaceous mass extinction. At some point in the past half-dozen million years, the last common ancestor of humans and chimpanzees and bonobos split into two groups. One of these would lead one day to humans, passing first through any number of intermediate groups of homonyms. Modern humans are currently thought to have appeared around 300,000 years ago, more than 65 million years after the non-avian dinosaurs disappeared. But yes, as you may have already pointed out, not all the dinosaurs disappeared. Birds descended from some of the few dinosaur species to survive at the end of the Cretaceous, likely a type of theropod. So, in a technical sense, birds are indeed dinosaurs, and we are still living with them today. We eat dinosaurs, we keep them as pets, and they pick at our snacks when we go to the beach. But just humans have evolved far from our mammalian ancestors 66 million years ago, birds have also changed significantly. With the exception of birds, dinosaurs died out in a catastrophe near the end of the Cretaceous. According to radiometric dating, the time gap between the extinction of the dinosaurs and the evolution of modern humans is nearly 66 million years. Ultimately, it's for you to decide. Are you having dinosaurs for dinner tonight or just chicken? So, do you think ancient primates of humans were alive during the dinosaur period? What are the chances that today's humans could have survived the wrath of the dinosaurs? We want to know what you think. Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel with all notifications enabled for more in wonder content like this.